Hi Darren, so we're going to be doing a quick one because I'm running late on putting up this video. Now this is, I'm going to show you how I made this hat wire cream line fascinator. A client gave me, wanted to have something spiky and standing and so I did this. So what I made use of was my plastic hat wire. This is how it comes, it's not like your regular hat wire, the iron hat wire. And this is perfect for it because it won't show through the tubular cream line. Then I made use of bias. Now, I also made use of this elastic band, then this feathers, you see the other feathers, then 0 0.2 inch width Alice band, then this is your tubular crinoline, yes, it's also a crinoline, and I made use of three yards, okay? Then this is the other type of feathers that I also made use of in making that, and my measurement tape. Cause we'll need to sew it with our matching needle and thread. Then our scissors. So let's get into it. So the first thing I did was to put my plastic hat wire into the tubular crinoline. Now uh, that means I'm making use of also three inches plastic hat wire. Now when you're taking it in, you have to be careful because as you can see, some parts has just come out there. So I need to push it in and I'm going to be taking it through the whole length of the tubular crinoline. And once I'm done with that, the next thing I'm going to do is to sew the edge. Now you don't want it coming out of course, so that's the way I sew the edge of the tubular cream line onto the plastic hat wire. Once I'm done, I start making my loops. So keep watching and learning. I'm done and sew the other edge also before I attach the final loop. Okay, so this is the final loop now. It has to follow the pattern and that's why I changed it like that. So I sew it like so. Keep watching and learning. Next thing is to attach your Alice band in the location you want it to be. Then I'm going to be cutting 7 inches of my elastic band that I'm going to attach at the downside of the Alice band to make it so you'll be able to dance with your headband anyhow. Yeah, your crinoline headband, fascinator headband. Okay, so watch how it's done. Remember, it's going to be done on the two sides, okay? Alright? Okay, so now I'm going to make use of a piece of um, my um, bias and I'm going to use it to wrap off the sewing that I did 
on the Alice band to attach the elastic band there. Now it's time to give the Screenoline Fascinator some dash and I'm going to use the feathers, the two different types of feathers that I showed you and I'm just going to be using Uhu gum and um, um, what you call it, gluing it around. Keep watching and learning. Is to cut bias and attach at the back to cover up all your sewing. And that's how this beautiful hot wire crinoline fascinator came out. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I bring up my new training videos. Okay, thanks for watching and God bless.